going on guys got a brand new video for you guys today today we're discussing the ending of spider-man the ps4 it's finally here we got two end credit scenes to talk about so if you're new here spoilers ahead please don't watch you want to find it out for yourself but if for some reason you're an xbox guy don't have a spider-man thing or you just want an explanation of it let's talk about it but first we get before we get into it i want you guys to see the actual end credit scenes and then i'll start discussing it so let's skip right over to those i'm not an expert or anything but i think it's in the way that you ask her uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. <sighs> hey, so Pete? Yeah? I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh, uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no, for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. Those are the end credit scenes, and let me let me just speculate, of course. Of course, the game ends with you fighting Doc Ock, kicking ass back there, which, that was a great boss fight. I love that boss fight. And plus, you end up seeing that Aunt May ends up perishing and dying from the disease that got spread throughout, because Spider-Man has the choice to either save her and kill all of New York City with the virus, or save New York City and let her pass on. It's a hard decision of that, and that's obviously going to go into the next game. We also see him and MJ end back up together after three months later on. It's a tough decision for all this, and, and you know, that's Peter Parker's parallel. That's what they did a good job, is balancing both. But of course, we get a little bit of a tidbit. Miles Morales gets bit by a spider. We see that he has those spider powers now. That's something from the comics, for people who don't know. But they're doing it a little bit differently. They're kind of going off the animated version this year but I know they're copying him. They were both being developed at the same time, but I'm glad that we're getting to see, obviously Peter Parker in the comics dies and Miles Morales picks up the mantle. And it's cool to, it's gonna be cool to see him as a mentor to Miles in this. And that's what I'm expecting. I don't think we're gonna get it in an add-on necessarily. I think we're gonna get it more of, let's say the next one, because it looks like he's gonna be having a little bit more, needing a little bit more help, of course, because Venom, uh, the symbiote, the symbiote, whatever, however you want to call it, is in that tank with Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn never went to Europe. Of course, we only hear and hear his voice throughout little voicemails throughout the whole game, but we see Norman is holding him in there and the symbiote is doing something to him. I don't know. I don't believe Harry will end up being Venom. I think Venom or the symbiote itself will get go missing end up breaking out and get attached to eddie brock which we did see that eddie brock is in this game through some of the easter eggs through some of the backpacks i do believe in that full heartedly that eddie brock will still get it or flash thompson some other characters because they're gonna have to bring in other another spider-man character i think harry will play a big part in the next one and i will even say i think the green light imitating on norman's face does kind of give us a hint that he will eventually become green goblin we're gonna get a little bit more of doc ock 
then we're also going to get a little bit of venom obviously this is kind of like obvious stuff but for people who aren't big comic readers you might be wondering oh my god what is that symbiote that's what it is venom's coming green goblin's coming and doc ock i think will return maybe as an ally maybe he's gonna need a little bit more help because maybe we won't just get venom maybe we'll get some riot some scream some toxin and even maybe carnage i don't know this is speculation but that is my ending explained for people who maybe aren't versed in Spider-Man lore, or versed within the comic book or movies, maybe you're not even big, maybe you just picked up the game because you heard it was good, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, and of course, until next time, stay classy.